Hello everyone, welcome back to our Nigerian view. So guys, let's talk about what is currently going on in the southwestern part of Nigeria. As most of you already know, the southwest has basically become a wide wide west because of the cold war that is currently going on between Black Ass and Supreme Air Confraternity in most of the communities in the southwest. There is currently a cold war in most parts of Lagos, there is a cold war in Ogun State, as most of you already know, and now there is a cold war in Ibadan. And in these three locations that I have named, a lot of people has went down as you can imagine. And the funny part of it is that these cult wars are not really related. It's not like the war is spreading from place to place. And the reason for this cult war are basically different. So in this video, I am going to explain what is currently going on in these three different locations because I got a lot of messages of people just mixing everything that is happening together. It seems like people really don't understand what is going on. And I will start from Lagos. After I explain what happened in Lagos, then I will talk about Ogun State before I finally talk about Ibadan. So without wasting much of your time, let's go straight into what has been happening. So within the period of a week and a half, a lot of people has went down here in Lagos and this war in Lagos has widespread into many locations. So I asked a lot of people the reason for this cult war in Lagos. Some people don't know why others told me that this cult war is because of what happened some time ago. So the young man that you're currently seeing on your screen who is popularly known as Jasper and this happened around Alabado. So after Jasper went down, everyone traveled and during the easter people started coming back so when people started coming back a young man was brought down who is said to be member of black ass and they even removed the person's hand and after that people started running again and then the war spread into different parts of lagos a young man was also brought down in lagos around my 12 and the young man is popularly known as monday a lot of people call him pa monday and Monday is said to be a member of Black Ass and he was brought down by some AA members. And after that, Black Ass retaliated in Alagado and they brought down this young man that you are currently seeing. This man is by the name of Adura and he is said to be a member of AA. And then AA members also retaliated and they brought down another Black Ass member. And later, Black Ass members brought down this young man. This young man is said to be an old leader of AA. And after this man was brought down, so the black ass member that brought this young man down was caught black ass members again and one of the black ass members that was brought down they removed the head there is something i quickly want to explain to people that concerns the bringing down of this young man by the name of jasper so the day that jasper went down he was sitting in front of his house and he wasn't wearing a shirt it is said that when the black ass members came for him it was an AA member that brought them to the place Jasper was staying. It is said that it was an AA member that jacked him up before the black ass members started dragging him. The reason I am saying this is because even if you are a confraternity member, sometimes it is not everyone you have to trust. The best thing ever that the Nigerian youths can do is to embrace peace. <laughs> because the way things are going, even the people that you think are your confraternity members can also be part of the people that can bring you down. And also, when it comes to the war in the southwest, it is really different because if the war is more than two days, you can't keep track of who is bringing down who. You will just be hearing news that people are going down because they fight dirty in the southwest. And as all this were going on, there was this circulation that came out of someone saying that they declare war on black ass members. At the end of the day, it was debunked and AA members sent a broadcast and they said that no one from AA declare war on black ass. And it should be noted that this was consigned Lagos. Now let's go to Ogun State, what is going on in Ogun State. As we currently speak, there is not much going on in Ogun State. But on Easter day, a young man was brought down. The man is said to be a member of Black Ass and his legs were removed. The reason I decided to add Ogun State to this, because a lot of people might think that the war in Ogun State is over. So they might want to start coming back. And that is what the young man that was brought down on Easter day did. He probably think that it is Easter, that the war is finished, so he came out from where he was hiding. He came back to Abiyokuta and then he was brought down right there in Abiyokuta. So I would advise the people that have traveled from Abiyokuta, from Shagamu, not to go back because the war is very active. The reason you haven't heard that people are going down 
is because they haven't seen anybody that they want to bring down. Everyone is hiding. So let's quickly go to what is happening in Ibadan. I think the one in Ibadan is probably the worst of all. So on Monday, the young man that you are currently seeing on your screen was brought down in Ibadan. This man is popularly known as Timaya and he is said to be a member of Black Ass. The reason this young man was brought down is really not known. The only answer that everyone kept on giving is that this matter has been on ground for years. I think they said this problem has been on ground for more than 8 years. The war between Black Ass and Aye in Ibadan. So I really don't know the reason they decided to resurrect it again and this young man was brought down on Monday. After this young man was brought down, then it is said that Black Ass members brought down two young men that are said to be Aye members. But Aye members had said that one of the young men is not a member of AA, that the person is innocent, according to what they are saying. And the current situation right now in Ibadan is that there are military officers patrolling and there are also Amotekon walking everywhere. So because of that, the city is kind of calm, which I really give kudos to the Amotekon and the police. And this is what we also want to see more, especially in the eastern part of Nigeria, because it is really difficult for you to find police patrolling in the eastern part of Nigeria. And this is not just because of government, this is also because of the problem that is going on around there so the police are afraid but in the southwest when something is going on you will quickly find out that the police and the military officers and the vigilantes are involved they quickly try to stop when these things happen apart from lagos i really don't know what is wrong with lagos because right now there is a cold war in most places in lagos so you have to be really careful when you live in Lagos. Anyway, I know this is a lot to take in. I just quickly want to make people understand that the Southwest is basically a wide, wide West. So if you live in the Southwest, you should be really careful. And Southwest is a place where you don't wish to be a member of a confraternity. They really fight dirty whenever there is a cold war. Anyway, guys, you're watching Nigerian View.